Hello everyone and welcome back to the Miss Drea show where I'm your host Miss Drea and here I have with me the lovely Lady T. Yes we are in the house. How lovely, are you? Lovely, lovely. I just love the guest tonight and I just I didn't even need to bring any synergy. That <laughs> energy on this sofa tonight has been phenomenal. Yes it has. And they were so lovely. We yes. have got to and I heard you guys heard her now. Drea promised to work out. I will and work out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and so I am looking forward to that said with David every and Julie. four weeks or yes. something he's yes. going to hold you accountable. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh, I will do it. I would okay. do it. You heard her. I would you do heard, it. You heard her. You heard her. Okay. <laughs> so what's been up with you? How I, I was mean, over there praying, Lord, <laughs> please don't let her call the co host <laughs> off and put me in that eye. <laughs> oh Lord. But I know you're gonna do it. You always do it. you know, you maintain. <laughs> yeah, maintain. <laughs> <laughs> how how's the um how have you been? How have the events that you, you did? You know what? Everything and I've missed you guys. Of course. Always. I have missed you so much, but thank you guys. I got so so much love at the Hard Rock, the improv, um, and thank you, First Baptist. Thank you to my church members who showed up after I cussed them out that night. Now. Oh, my goodness. Okay? I, I, I had to cuss them people at the improv out. I'm sorry. They do not want you to come in there preaching and quoting no scriptures. Okay? You got to sneak God to them people because they on that vodka. But, uh. <laughs> So when you go to church, you know, you have to do what you have to do for the church crowd, even though they on that vodka. So uh, <laughs> they on the vodka, too, in a different way. Okay, but it was just love. Thank you guys so much for all the love that I received. I know. Oh, my God, I am so blessed. <laughs> And you told me I couldn't come to the show. No, the, you yeah, couldn't come. That was for grown folks. I couldn't come. But I do appreciate you coming to the circus and, <laughs> okay. and watching me. Oh, so my. See, oh see. my God. Yeah. <laughs> when you saw when I saw you, Drea, you were so beautiful. Oh, thank you, lady. She looked like a little tigress. Wow. <laughs> okay. I was like, I'm going to get that piece of hair right there. <laughs> Oh my God, you did so good, and Thank I was you. so I proud. You. I appreciate you. You Thank should you so really much. think about joining the circus. <laughs> I don't even know how to take that. <laughs> shade. They told me I'm learning know, how see, to throw shade. It. Is that shade? That was. It was. A shade. That's why I said I don't even know how to you take. You know that. what? You fit right up in there with them lions and tigers and bears. Oh, oh my. my. <laughs> Okay, so we do have a clip. We're going to check it out and see what's in store for us on the What Do You Think clip. Okay, yeah, let's do that. I missed you. <laughs> the Richmond woman accused of hiding her son's body in the trunk of her car is now facing a new charge, second-degree murder. A state trooper in Hampton pulled over Tanya Slayton in June of 2015 for having expired tags. That's when the remains of Quincy Davis were discovered in a bag under her spare tire. Davis was last seen alive more than 11 years ago. Slayton was originally charged with concealing a body. But that is so horrible. And that is her paternal son, yeah. I'm informed. That, you know, that's the one thing that I have got. Y'all just bear with me, okay? Because yes. I be on the Miss Drea show and we just be <laughs> sky high. We just be rolling. And then our producer throw in a video <laughs> oh, that make me just want to go and chunk a rock at that lady. Okay, you know how many people that trying to get pregnant, can't get pregnant, want a child, and for this person to do this to yeah, her own exactly. son, exactly, it makes it's just so. Oh, it's, it makes my heart. Terrible. I just want to slap. Oh, I want to beat that woman. It's terrible. Um, it's terrible, terrible, terrible. But why would you do that? I, it, I don't it's know. Got Maybe to be she's, mental you know, illness. Psychotic. Though, she has to be crazy. Yeah, yeah. 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 There's some crazy. things going on, guys, and I'm telling you, more Americans, more people in the United States of America are under. Depression, I guess mm -hmm. you could call mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. under stress and duress. Mm -hmm. um, and that takes it, its toll 
um, there was a lady who drove her car on the sidewalk a week after I left Vegas. Wow. And she just started running people down in wow. Vegas just because she had had enough. Oh, my goodness. People are under pressure. So y'all <laughs> need to pray now. You need to find you somebody who can stroke you good or... You need to just, you know, I'm saying keep God in it. Exactly. I'm not taking away from the last guest we had. He was so <laughs> lovely. But sometimes you need a good stroking. That's all I'm saying. Somebody that feel good on it. Okay, see there. That's what I'm saying. I need somebody to rub me. <laughs> I don't know where our bald head producer is tonight. A couple of shows ago, he was all like, here I am, here I am tonight. I, I got nothing. Dang gave me nothing but a chicken wing. Oh, my goodness. We do okay. have another clip. So we're going to oh, see what that one is about. Another clip. Stay with us. Okay, let's see this one, y'all. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Tori Shaw. The case Talk about high temps. A weather anchor who worked at a TV station in Kentucky was busted for growing marijuana at her home. State police say they were tipped off about the operation and performed what's called a knock and talk at the home. Troopers say they got enough evidence to obtain a search warrant. Inside, they say they found pot plants, guns, silencers, storage boxes with ammunition, among other things. 32-year-old Victoria Shaw Smoyer, who goes by Tori Shaw on air, and her 35-year-old husband, Tyler Smoyer, were arrested and charged with cultivating marijuana. The station Smoyer worked for posted a story about her arrest on their website. No word on whether she'll stay on the payroll or if she'll team up with the former Alaskan reporter who quit her job live on air for her cannabis company. I quit. For InsideEdition.com. Okay, now that's my kind of story now. Oh, that's a little bit like her. I'd rather hear that about this news lady uh, growing pot in the I, I think it was her, her husband. It was her, it was her boyfriend. You her. don't think she had No, nah, that was his was... stuff. That was his. You I mean, really did you see those so. guns in the. No. I'm not saying she wasn't smoking the weed. I'm just saying, you know, those guns. Uh, and contact, it was his I... idea to, you know, you know. You know what? I, I'm, I'm at the place now where. Depression got me thinking. You don't never know who you sitting next to. <laughs> oh, Lady T. <laughs> you don't never know. You could think them people is the straightest people in the world. They could be your co-host. They could be whatever, whatever. And then they do some foolish <laughs> tricks like vote for Donald Trump. You don't never know these people. You just know them at, at work. I'm pretty sure she went to work and she was just so mellow and nice. And even when it was going to rain, I bet you that helped say, it's just nice out tonight. <laughs> okay? She done messed up people picnics and whatever. Oh, but, my goodness. But you think it was her husband? He's yeah, 35. She's 34. It was him. I mean, come on. Seriously. I, okay. Okay, if she let me had, ask you. If she had just the. Had, had, had it was you. Mm -hmm. Had it. Okay, y'all know I'm from Georgia. Don't you write, Drea. <laughs> don't you say. Had it was Drea. And you on this TV show, nice show, once a week, every Thursday. And then you come to find out uh, that your co-hosts are, you, you, once you go home, uh, yo, you got like pot in the bathroom. <laughs> I would like to know. You if think that we going to think you ain't had nothing to do with it? Oh, no, you're going to know. You're going to believe that, you know, I knew the pot was there. I knew the guns were there. You know what I'm saying? But was it my idea to do it? No. Yeah. You're not going to find any of those yeah. things at my house. I know. <laughs> I you know. know. I just did that by example. Because <laughs> yeah, sometimes no, no. <laughs> we can see I'm just getting to the point where you never know what's inside the book. Don't judge the book of by course, its cover. Course, That's all I'm course, trying to of say. Course, of course. That's all. That's but I think all. it was him. I think he coached her to do it, you know. I think, you know, hey, baby. Because she do don't this. look the part, or you just think she I just I mean, the guns are it. a bit much, you know. So it just, it just takes it on another level. She could, I'm not saying she doesn't smoke. I'm just simply saying, you know, girls are not normally going to be uh, growing marijuana, you know. They, that's just not something yeah. that they he typically do. Yeah, he do look kind of method He's going to do that. He's going to have the guns. 
methish meth. You meth. think he's on meth? He, 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 he <laughs> look, he look kind of <laughs> suspect. Let me just put it like that. He do look suspect, but I'm still, I'm, I'm really in the mindset of not judging a book by its cover because you never know. You of just course, never so. know. Uh, what you gonna find exactly. that's what that man said famous man somebody then he say life's like a box of chocolates never you never you know get. what you're gonna get okay and okay so. now okay <laughs> so we do have another clip another one we have another clip it's like a surprise <laughs> I am loving this. okay we come on clip, come on so let's see Did cops miss a chance to prevent the killing spree by a deranged Uber driver? We blew stop signs, we sideswiped a car. This passenger fled after a nightmare ride with the Uber driver, charged with killing six total strangers. We were kind of driving through medians, driving through the lawn, speeding along, and then finally, once he came to a stop, I jumped out of the car and ran away. Matt Mellon called 911 and his fiance even posted a warning on Facebook. The Uber driver named Jason is not a safe ride. My fiance got a ride with him and he was driving very erratically, swerving in and out of oncoming traffic. 911 was called, but surprisingly, they didn't seem all that concerned. Some 30 minutes later, the rampage began. Uber driver Jason Dalton allegedly opened fire at a woman standing in a parking lot. Other victims quickly fell. A father and his teenage son at a car dealership and four women and a teenage girl outside a Cracker Barrel, all in a span of five hours. Dispatch off units, suspect victim in a shooting last seen at Cracker Barrel. Dalton, a father of two, was arrested soon after midnight Sunday after his car was spotted by a deputy. Police say he continued to pick up Uber passengers between shootings. Carmen Morin and Dylan Thompson were scheduled to be picked up by Dalton but changed their plans. We decided to just cancel the Uber, and then um, and then three minutes later, we decided to take a different Uber. So I think, honestly, God was watching over us, kept us safe, kept us out of that situation. Um, a difference of three minutes that changed I mean, could, our have lives. All, could have altered our life completely or taken it away from us. Words was lost. There was an emotional vigil for the victims at a church in Kalamazoo Sunday. Come back. Um, I know that's horrible, Lady T. Wow. I'm ready for this one. Oh wow! I, you know what? Words cannot explain. Because I was an avid, especially when. Uh, one of my friends, uh, Udonis Haslam, and Hi, Miss Barbara. I love you guys. Um, uh, he's with the Miami Heat, and mm -hmm. he was on the campaign. Let's get the Uber drivers here. And we went and we voted, and mm -hmm. we kind of, you know, let the word be known that we didn't want to have to be forced to take taxis. And even though I, I, I'm just, uh, uh, God Almighty. What what can you say? Yeah, you, you can't say anything because it's it's like um you're taking a chance, you know. As with a taxi driver, you know, never know. But well, um, it seems like it was a good idea. It's a part time yeah. job. Let people make some extra money. But then you get these crazy people, and then you get this. Be it the passengers and or you know the drivers, because sometimes the passengers are crazy. Well, that was um, one of the state commissioners. That was one of the commissions that they wanted to put to make more. Well, how do you call it? Um, uh, um, uh, rules mm -hmm. to have them checked out. But being that it was uh, your own personal vehicle, you're exactly. like a, a part time part. You're like a contractor. the corporate. Yeah, yeah, you're the entrepreneur. Exactly. So we're putting our lives in these people's hands. And the thing about it, this guy, you know, you never know what people. This guy, he has two children. He's married. Two kids. And he's going around killing people. And for pick what pe reason? picking people up in exactly between. in between the the shootings, just he was ticky ticky Skirt. boom. But then he look a little <laughs> suspect. He, he did, he did yeah. The, like, the picture does. Um, I, I'm 
Sometimes Miss Drea have some good ideas, baby. <laughs> Look at your people, okay? Because I think if he had rolled up on me, I probably would have said, no, sir, I'm going to walk. <laughs> uh, I'm going to call my auntie because that's who we use as our exactly. Uber. You exactly. know, most people got an Uber drive in their family. Exactly. You use exactly. Your dad, she use her auntie, you know. Sometimes we just don't pay our folks. That's why they, okay, it's called family. You ain't supposed to pay, okay? You both to help me get where I'm supposed to get. But I, if he had pulled up on me, I think I would have just yeah. declined or, or offered him some dye or something. Because you saw the color of his blonde. There wasn't no blonde hair. So I made right with it. So who let that man go outside like that? His wife. You know what? Did he die too, or is he no, in jail? No, he's in jail. He's in jail. He's in jail for a long time. I certainly hope. I hope so too. Well, what was the reason? He was didn't he have depressed? one. He he has to be, you know. He probably depressed. <laughs> oh, okay, he has this to be is depressed. a PCA public service announcement for any Uber drivers or Uber family members. Y'all leave them people alone. Them people is tired and under stress, okay? <laughs> if they need a little love, you give them some love. What's my favorite thing? Sometimes people need to be stroked. You stroke that man before he go pick up his next fare and feed that man some pinto beans. You need to make sure that your people are happy because they trying to get rid of you. They trying to get away. That's, I mean, hey, it might be consensus that he was trying to leave his wife. Did you see her? Oh, my goodness. I'm just saying. I'm just, I mean, oh I'm just saying. That's, look, y'all know this lady. I'm just it's been a powerful moment. It's been a powerful um, show tonight, and I just I I can't, can't do nothing but laugh. I have to have find the funny. I have to laugh because this stuff right here make you mad. Well, it will. So I just want to thank you, Lady T. You okay. know, because you always sharing a laugh with us, and you have to chuckle. You know, my my mother used to say, "You got to laugh to keep from crying." Oh yes, you do. We this our yes, last Thursday in Black History Month. We want. Will we have another Thursday in Black History no, Month? This is the last. This is the last. February. One. Where did February go? February just went out so fast. Time is ticking on, y'all. You got to come up just like your last guest, and they were so gorgeous. Yes. Uh, the Angelique, Angelique and, and David. And the David. Yes, yes. That thing scared me to death, baby, when he was doing his interview mm -hmm. talking about what happened August 25th, 2006, when he was looking like that sitting on the side of the bed. And I know August 25th is my birthday. Oh, my. Um, and I wasn't, I was like, oh, my God. I I don't even remember if I smoked nothing that day. But uh, he had a powerful message. I'm just yes, saying, he, he said, yes, every he morning you wake up and you say your daily devotion, say your prayer. I say every morning you speak to your Lord, you speak to your maker, and then you find something to laugh about, even if you have to look in the mirror. Exactly. <laughs> Okay. Oh my goodness! It don't get no better than that. I, listen, I love you. I'm so happy to be back, baby. I thank y'all so much. What Anytime, do you have lady, coming too. up this week before we um, go? I have. I'm supposed to be hosting uh, Mustafa's event. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I'm Wonderful. supposed to be hosting that this week, and I'm just looking forward to that. You know, making and it through. And she just got asked to come to the Coca Cola stage at the Coyote. <laughs> Okay, I won't be down there, but save me some antipinatas <laughs> and uh, some other stuff, okay? Um, I can't deal with them. I um, appreciate you so much. And we're going to teach you some Spanish before, okay, we, before you go down there and embarrass <laughs> us. I am your girl, Lady T, your co-host. It has been wonderful. I love you. I, I love, love you, you too. I'm your host, Miss Drea, and I just want to thank everyone for coming out tonight. I want to thank Angelique. I want to thank mm -hmm. David. I want to David. thank my co-host, Lady T. Yes. I want to yes. thank my entire Model Gang family. I want to thank the entire Universe Network family, the entire Universe Miami family. Yes. I want to thank my crew here for helping put on the Miss Drea show. And I want to thank you for staying tuned. I'll see you next Thursday. Have a blessed night. We'll see you next Thursday. <laughs>